Hi, and welcome to another Husky Office instructional video. Today, I'm going to show you how to assemble an executive office chair. Now, most of our executive office chair models will all assemble in the same general way. However, there may be subtle differences on your model, so keep those assembly instructions handy to know any differences during the assembly process. I'm also going to show you general techniques and tricks to the office chair assembly to make it a little bit easier and make everything go together just like it should. So stay tuned, let's get to it. First, we're going to assemble the base or lower portion of the chair. You're going to have a big base, five casters usually, sometimes there's a little bit more, and a gas cylinder, pneumatic cylinder, shock, whatever you want to call it. To insert the casters, I'm just going to grab a caster and push it in the hole. It may take a little bit of force. Don't be afraid to push. I also do a little bit of a twisting motion. And you can generally hear them click. Once you get the casters in properly, they will not easily come out. However, if you need to remove one, you can just brace and pull. Flip your base over, put in your cylinder, and a lot of chairs come with a dust cover for the cylinder. It's really just cosmetic. Many chairs these days also do not use one because they're chrome and they're fancy looking, but you can insert that at this time. Now that you have your completed base, put it aside. We'll come back to it in just a moment. Next, we'll assemble the seat and backrest. Position your seat on a floor or table. Make sure you check the orientation. Most of the chairs will have something that says front at the front of the chair. Check your mechanism, make sure it says front. On some of our chairs, you will see a plastic spacer. This is supposed to be there. Do not take it off. That helps angle the seat properly. Another way to tell the front and the back is generally there are holes at the back where the backrest would attach. Position the mechanism so that it matches the orientation and take note on your assembly instructions which bolts to use at the front and the back. Mine ask for longer ones in the front, shorter ones in the back. That's because mine has a spacer. Yours may be different. Go ahead and tighten down these bolts all the way. Everything should be nice and snug. One tip to prevent your bolts from coming loose is to use a little bit of Loctite or even a little bit of super glue on the bolts. It's a, an old office chair assembler's trick that our professional installers use. Most bolts will already have some Loctite on them. That's the blue stuff, but this will help even more not required, but prevents you from having to tighten things down in six months. Okay, everything is tightened down nice and snug. It's not over tightened, but it is not going anywhere. I'm gonna grab the backrest and we're gonna attach it next. Okay, so we're going to attach the backrest. This is one of the most helpful tricks in the assembly of our office chairs. Our office chairs are rated to hold 300, 400, even 500 pounds. And to be able to withstand that type of weight, we need to have very tight tolerances. This can make lining up the holes when you connect the armrests and other parts later a little bit difficult. So following this next trick is going to help resolve any of those issues. With your backrest and seat on the floor, change the orientation so that the backrest support plate is in the position where it's going to go. Now take note of your assembly instructions. Sometimes this support plate goes underneath the mechanism. In this case, it's going to go over it. And due to the cushioning, it may be a little tough to line up. Don't be afraid to push. And all I'm going to do is get that first bolt started about three turns. Same with the rest of them. Okay, as you can see, I have a ton of space here. This backrest is not tightened down at all. 
I have it barely connected so that it's hanging on in each hole by just a few threads. What that's going to allow me to do is manipulate this backrest as I'm assembling the arms and get all of these holes to line up. To attach the armrests, take note of the left and right armrests. The orientation is based on how you would be sitting in the chair. So this is the right armrest because it's on my right side. Flip the chair on its side and you will notice deep under the cushioning we have some grommets. Place the armrest on the chair and just get one of those grommets lined up like so. Put a bolt in. And get it started. Then go to the next grommet. Push down the foam to expose it. Line it up. The trick here is that I was able to manipulate the backrest into position because it is still loose. I was able to press down the foam to expose the grommet and line up the hole in the armrest so that it would receive it properly. Only then did I feed in the bolt and I'm not going to tighten them all the way, probably halfway or so. Then I'm going to flip it over. I like to get this one first. Make sure as you tighten the arms, I press down so that it is always in contact with the grommet. Otherwise, it may get, be uh, difficult to start the threads. Next, I'm going to flip the chair back where I can access the bolts for the backrest and tighten them down a little bit more, but not all the way yet. Next, I'm going to set the chair on the base so that it starts to look like an office chair. To tighten down the armrests, I'm just going to alternate a couple turns at a time on each side so that I don't tighten down one side more than another. Now that I've gotten the armrest as tight as they will go, I'm going to tighten up the backrest now. I'm going to flip the chair back down in the position I had it before. I'm only doing each bolt a couple turns at a time, going around in a circle, hitting all of the bolts. I don't want anything to get lopsided. Now that this is complete, I'm going to check the armrest one last time. And that's our assembled executive office chair.